He's so cute. Look, he's drinking water. Look. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below. Are you my daughter? I think. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at them, boy. Very slow. Let's see what these goldfish do. Catch them all fishing with Zach Ketchum. We're out here in the makeup aisle of Walmart, guys. You know that's where you find all your fish supplies and needs, guys. Come on. I want this. You need it. it has a unicorn on. I got this thing for Timmy. You know what it is, Timmy. <laughs> Give me a pound. You're too slow. Oh. Hello, sir. And I need, I need first you guys step over there to the left, just to the left. We need all of these goldfish. Every single one. Looks like there's one or two that, uh, Dying. Need like some life support, but it's okay. We're gonna take them. You good with that, Keenan? No problem. Yeah, that's my boy. Master of counting. You play with the fish? Keenan invigorates the fish by tapping on the glass as hard as he possibly can. Look at them, look at them. He's trained them. Look. Dude, look at him. Look at him. Look at him biting like that, dude. We might have to get a few of those things. That's a scare, but my fingers just want to be yeah. aggressive. They're going to like bite you? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll get it, get it here. Let's see it. Let's see it. You got to do it. Nah, you, no way? No. Don't, don't tell me. Ah! Ah! Ah, they're biting me. Dangerous, you have some weird weird. fish out here. Yeah. Guys, these fish are like, like shamus, little tiny ones. Okay, so we're definitely going to get all those goldfish right here. Each and every single one of them first. That's our first mission, guys. Cop all the goldfish at Walmart. Even has he draws onto the bag. He is on a new level. He has found the, the marker. You're a legend, I'm telling you. You don't have any idea how powerful. This man is a powerful man. You shall hold the key to all living, Timmy. Come to me, my children. We shall rise up against the overlord Zah. <laughs> Oldfish are awesome. I like feeding them to a, a giant, a giant fish at home. Makes me happy. Really cool that you like feeding goldfish to bigger fish. I do it a lot, like a lot. Really? Dude, what? I think I found my daughter. Are you my daughter? I think. Is, it, is, is that ours? I think it might be. As we're out here, emptying the Walmart supply of fish, it's looking good. Guys, look at all those chickens. You get it? You get the joke? Guys, this is gonna look good. Oh, sorry, please. That's my foot. That, yeah, but it's okay. It's cool. I'll just ignore that. <laughs> what is that? Are you allowed to touch them? Oh my god! Oh my god! He's a beefy! Do you chicken do it at home? Nuggets. <laughs> look, at, look at all those chicken nuggets! Different colors too. Yes! <laughs> he's so cute! Look, he's drinking water! Look! <laughs> you say? Him all, right? Catch him what? Him all. I don't know. That guy, all, all that one guy, that YouTube channel, he, he looks just like me. He looks, he's like my brother. He wears the same stuff. The Catch him all merch. Same stuff. I'm so, so, so. Just I'm just his brother. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw you in this video. What we're gonna do is we're getting a bunch of fish and we're gonna actually use them to clean. I actually have a 20 a gallon fish. at home. A 20 gallon? Dude, that's a big tank. The tank over there is gonna be like, I think that's, what is that? 15 gallon? Yeah. Something like that? Some, you know that already? Yeah. Dude, you got it. You got it in your head. I appreciate you for being in the video. I think we might get some of these chickens later too. Get a chicken or don't get a chicken? Get a chicken. Get a chicken? All right. You heard it from the man himself. Thank you so much, dude. Give me some skin. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that dude. I always love these little caterpillar thingies. Guys, if you know what these turn into later, Please let me know in the comments below because I think whatever these things turn into, like lamps. Oh, the silky? Like, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm probably gonna raise them up. I'm not gonna, I'm totally, I wouldn't do something like that, guys. This guy's asking me if I'm gonna feed those silky chickens to the pond. Oh, man. No, no, we wouldn't do that on camera. I mean, ever. <laughs> Shut up, Timmy. Guys, I've given these fish a day to acclimate, a day to adjust, you know, make sure they're happy and healthy before I start putting stinky feet inside the tank. But it looks like these guys are doing pretty well. I took away the Tetris, guys. I had to return them. Walmart was pissing me off with the numbers and stuff. But it doesn't matter because we have our goldfish and goldfish are cooler anyway. It's called How to Fear Light. Dance! Be afraid, my friends! No, I'm kidding, guys. They're honestly very spooky of light right now. I'm not really sure why, but... uh. 
For some reason, every time I press the on button, they dance. Maybe we just need to turn on some music for them. Yeah, oh, the black one's going crazy. And there's just the right amount of fish that it's not like overwhelmed because it is 15 gallons and it does have that sump attached to it. It's looking pretty good, but the fish kind of relax after a little couple seconds after the lights turned on. Now all the fish are happy and healthy. They've been eating a little bit, you know, it's been a whole day and they're all acclimated to this water. None of them have died. So I guess the fish are looking pretty darn healthy guys, especially these black ones, which are really cool. I hope we keep them for a really long time and uh, maybe the blab won't eat them. Crayfish, hit them on goldfish. Dance, my friends, for you shall have a bountiful feast of calluses and peppercorns. All we need now are some really stanky feet. I mean, I have my soft science shoes and all, but it's time to get these bad boys in the tank unless I can find something better. Oh! Oh yeah! Look at them, boy! Well, guys, we did find a very exotic looking special foot. Not bad. And we do have the fish. Now, all we have to do is get this foot inside that tank but first we have to desanitize this foot you can't just go throwing nasty feet into the fish the fish will be sad first we have to buy you know we gotta get rid of all the stinkiness of the feet oh yeah mm-hmm we want to wash it probably yay high make sure everything that's submerged is nice and clean take a nice little shower get those toes between the toes please thank you thank you mm-hmm and make sure you get like oops yeah perfect between the toes guys between the toes between the toes okay we're good now what we want to do is just kind of pat dry this stuff with a paper towel okay so we're just gonna pat this beautiful foot dry now looking good uh-huh but before we insert the foot to train these fish to peck at feet, even though they will do it by themselves if they're really hungry, these fish have been well fed. They're looking great right now. So before we do all this, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little extra sauce on it if you know what I'm saying. Thank you, Stark. Tropical color flakes. Tetra, thank you so much. All right, let me go ahead. Gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of the sauce around the toes. Yes, that's what we want. Now, I'm gonna make sure we get it into the pores so the goldfish can really associate these feet with food. Put it all around, especially on the toes. Goldfish love toes, everyone knows that, guys. We added a little bit more crumbs. Now it's looking great. So it's still a little bit damp. So what we're gonna do is just pat it dry, pat it dry and let this foot dry out completely. This is how you train your fish, guys. Training your fish to clean your feet, guys. So what we're doing right here, this is the initiation stages of having your own fish foot spa right now. That's what we're doing. So I think we're ready to go with this foot. We're gonna let it dry for about maybe five more minutes. You guys can do that at home with the blow dryer, just air dry it, you know? Nice and hot, that'll be great if you're just starting this off. But right now, I think just letting it air dry is gonna be the key. We're just gonna take a couple minutes for this foot to dry and then we're gonna throw them in the tank. The goldfish are now used to this beautiful bright light that is going to light up this fish tank while they're all gonna be eating. Hey guys, you hungry? You look hungry. It is time for the peace de resistance. And guys, you can do this with any fish. If you have nice, soft toes like this, I would recommend goldfish because they have very soft mouths, but you can do it with African cichlids and stuff. They do have teeth though, and they might rip off your skin. If you do have peppercorns and stuff like that, I keep calling them peppercorns, I don't think that's the word. But anyway, when your feet are disgusting and like nanny's old granddaddy's Medea's feet, then you definitely want to have some scarier fish, but these guys will do the trick for these feet right here. Hey, those feet. Place your foot oh right over there oh. Thank you very much oh. And now we have the feet and the fish. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the top of this thing. Hopefully the fish don't get too spooked. Come on. Oh yes. Insert el foot oh, please oh. Nice and slow oh. Go ahead oh. Nice and slow. We don't want to spook the fish too much. There we go. Okay, food coming. Looking good. All the way down, you want to go ahead and put your foot on the bottom and curl your toe up and put it right in the center of the tank. That's what you want to do. Right in the center of the tank like you're wearing a high heel. Perfect. There you go. And now, as you can see, they're eating right off of 
the feet. So they're going to associate the foot with food now. It's very ticklish. It's hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> but the fish are eating her toes completely. This is absolutely amazing. It is a live foot fish foot spa tank, guys. Amazing. Get it from all angles. The fish back here are definitely using the other. Oh, they're getting underneath. Look, look underneath. See, they're eating the bottom of her feet as well. But we definitely wanted them to focus on the toes, and that's where the big black ones come in. As you can see, they're really going ham on the toes. Even Oh, don't squish that one. Don't move too much. You can't move too much if these goldfish are brand new. As you can see, this guy's getting really between the toes right there. That was a really good goldfish. So these guys are tearing up her feet right now. Just completely demolishing her feet. This looks, oh, look at that goldfish. The big black ones really put in the work for the calloused feet, guys. The longer you don't move and the more familiar your goldfish get. Like I said, guys, this goldfish have only been in here for, I think, what, 24 hours? Maybe even less than that. These guys are already acclimating to eating off of human feet, which means that once you stop putting food on their feet, the goldfish will immediately associate these feet with food and remove all of the dead skin. You can just go ahead and keep your feet inside this tank for about an hour. Your feet will get nice and soft and then the fish will come and go ahead and eat off of it. Look at them. There's no food. As you can see, there's no food at all and the goldfish are just eating away. King, absolutely beautiful right now. This is exactly what we wanted. Gorgeous, gorgeous. These goldfish, man, they do the trick. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put one more dose of food just because we're training these fish and see what happens. Look at them all chewing hardcore. They don't even wanna stop, but I do wanna train these fish very hard. As you can see, other fish are wandering around. I want them to completely swarm around this foot every time we do this, no matter if there's any food at all in this tank or not. And that is exactly what will happen if we train them the right way. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this beautiful foot out of the tank. Go ahead, nice and slow. Good, good, right onto the towel. Thank you, madam. Now, I'm gonna close the top of the lid. These goldfish are so good, guys. These are Walmart goldfish. I definitely went to Walmart to get these fish. These fish are used to people going up to them and saying hello. You know, all little kids at Walmart always go up to the fish section. I mean, I, I know I do, and I'm not even little anymore. So, these fish are the fish to get. Thank you so much, Walmart. You are amazing for getting these fish and raising them with that awesome man. We're gonna go ahead and put some more feet, I mean, more food, yeah, food, on, on the feet. They were on my legs uh -huh. too, so you can even um, put some. Like, on your legs? Yeah, right there. You want right. to really exfoliate, huh? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to start with your feet because them things need some work. Boy! The thing that you want to do most right here is associate the foot with food. So these goldfish will look at this foot as it goes into the tank and know it's covered in food and associate these feet with food. The goldfish will eat off of this foot and off the leg all of the dead skin cells and it'll be great, good to go. These feet will look absolutely perfect after my goldfish are done with them. Isn't that right, babies? We're gonna go ahead and place the foot inside the goldfish and see what happens. Go ahead, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Go ahead. All the way down, just like you had it before. High heel, center of the tank. Boom. Just like that. Boom. Go into town, baby. Go into town. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now you know. That's how the goldfish do it. And look, like she said, she did want them up there. They are going to go up there. Look, boom. Eating right off of the leg, eating between the toes. Looking great. Flatten your foot out a little bit more. A little bit more. They are eating, but flatten your foot out just a little bit more. Perfect. Looking great. Amazing. I'm pecking apart all of the excess skin now that there's no food left on her feet. And the little bit of food that is left, all the rest of the goldfish are eating. Everyone is happy and healthy right here. They are just tearing your foot apart. Put it to the middle of the tank a little bit more. So they go, oh. You gotta watch out. <laughs> Got a little goldfish kick, but that doesn't affect them. Goldfish are very hardy, hardy animals. Their water temperature and clarity really doesn't matter. Honestly, goldfish can live in puddles. They're doing good. They're doing a good job. And they're all going to live happy, healthy lives. Once they get too big, I do have a huge pond that they will all be fed to giant red-tailed catfish. Just to train them that they, they shouldn't be afraid of the foot. Go ahead. Nice and high. Okay, now back inside. Very slow. 
let's see what these goldfish do. Go ahead, all the way down to the bottom in the same position that you had your foot last time. All the way down. Now you have absolutely no food there. All the way, lower your foot just a little bit more. Perfect. You have no food now at all. No food. And let's see if they still chew on your foot. Look at them. Boom. Immediately. Immediately start chewing on her foot They're on under. both sides They're and under. under your foot. Huh? They're under. Oh, yeah. Chewing under and over. Guys, this experiment was a hundred percent successful. This is one day, guys. You do not have to wait to do this. Look at that guy, chewing at the dead skin. She does have a little bit extra dead skin on that toe, and <laughs> as you guys can see, the goldfish found that out, and have been chewing on it. Now that the foot's been in here for a solid 15 minutes and soaking a little bit, all that dead skin is starting to be a little bit easier to chew, a little bit easier to chew off. And these goldfish are associating the foot with food and that's exactly what we wanted guys this is absolutely amazing oh yeah the big guys going in on the ankles and everything i hope you enjoyed this episode guys because i certainly did i love these fish i still do have the blob and all those other fish i'm gonna set them up over here though in uh, maybe a bathroom tank i'm not really sure guys but i hope you enjoyed this episode and from this foot to you guys catch them all catch them all catch them all Catch them all fishing, YouTube and Instagram.